He is known for being a German philosopher and theologian who was a student of G. W. F. Hegel. He is recognized for his radical rationalist views in philosophy, politics, and biblical criticism. Bruno Bauer investigated the sources of the New Testament and concluded that early Christianity was influenced more by ancient Greek philosophy than Judaism. In the heart of 19th century Germany, a philosopher by the name of Bruno Bauer emerged as a radical thinker, challenging the foundations of philosophy, politics, and biblical criticism. As a student of the renowned G. W. F. Hegel, Bauer was deeply influenced by his mentor's Hellenophile orientation. Through his extensive investigations into the sources of the New Testament, Bauer arrived at a controversial conclusion that shook the religious and intellectual landscape of his time. Bauer boldly asserted that early Christianity was not primarily rooted in Judaism, as traditionally believed, but rather owed its origins to the profound influence of ancient Greek philosophy. This radical claim challenged established religious dogmas and sparked intense debates among scholars and theologians. Bauer's intellectual prowess and sharp break with conventional beliefs caught the attention of notable figures such as Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels, with whom he initially collaborated. However, their association would eventually fracture as Bauer embarked on a remarkable journey of his own. In the year 1840, he embarked on a series of groundbreaking works that shook the foundations of religious orthodoxy. Bauer argued that Jesus of Nazareth was not a first-century figure but rather a fusion of Jewish, Greek, and Roman theology that emerged in the second century. This audacious theory challenged the established narratives of Christianity, igniting fierce controversies and leading to his later association with philosophers Max Stirner and Friedrich Nietzsche. Bruno Bauer, the radical rationalist, forever left his mark on the philosophical landscape. His brave exploration of the origins of Christianity and his groundbreaking theories continue to inspire critical thinking and reshape our understanding of ancient history and religious belief. Bruno Bauer, a prominent figure in the Hegelian rationalist movement, was known for his critical and revolutionary ideas. Despite being labeled both a right Hegelian and a left Hegelian by his contemporaries, Bauer maintained a firm criticism of traditional Christianity and a strong allegiance to Hegel's dialectic and rationalist theology. In his early years, Bauer studied at the Friedrich Wilhelm University in Berlin and became associated with the right Hegelians under Philipp Marhinek. His association with Marhinek eventually led to his editing of the second edition of Hegel's Lectures on the Philosophy of Religion, which became one of his most well-known works. Bauer's writings showcased his adherence to Hegelian rationalism, interpreting miracles through naturalistic terms. His critical works, such as Kritisch Darstellung der Religion der Alten Testaments and Kritik der Evangelischen Gestik der Johannes, challenged traditional interpretations of biblical texts. Notably, Bauer's relationship with Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels was a complex one. While initially a teacher and close friend of Marx, their ideologies eventually diverged, leading to a break in their relationship. Marx and Engels criticized Bauer's rejection of their socialist and communist program in books like The Holy Family and The German Ideology. Bauer's revolutionary ideas and refusal to compromise his rationalism led to conflicts with the Prussian government and the revocation of his teaching license in 1842. Undeterred, he continued to write extensively, publishing theological tomes and works on modern history and politics. Despite his controversial reputation, Bruno Bauer's philosophy remains relevant today. His critical approach to religious texts and his commitment to intellectual freedom serve as an inspiration for individuals seeking to challenge orthodox beliefs and embrace a more rational and independent perspective. My life will recur in exactly identical fashion, Bauer once remarked, capturing his stoic and ascetic approach to life. This quote reflects his resilience and unwavering commitment to his principles, a lesson that can inspire us to stay true to our beliefs and forge our own path in the face of adversity. Bruno Bauer, a young and brilliant philosopher, found himself thrust into a battle of ideas in the mid-19th century. It all started with the arrival of David Strauss, a writer who claimed to be influenced by the great philosopher Hegel. Strauss's book, The Life of Jesus Critically Examined, caused a storm of controversy with its groundbreaking theory of demythologization applied to the Gospels. As a follower of Hegel, Bauer was chosen by the Hegelians to refute Strauss's claims in the Hegelian journal for Wissenschaftlich Kritik. Bauer meticulously demonstrated that Strauss had misrepresented Hegel's philosophy and had actually borrowed ideas from Friedrich Schleiermacher instead. This revelation undermined Strauss's credibility and put his association with Hegelianism in doubt. In response, Strauss published a rebuttal to Bauer titled, In Defense of My Life of Jesus Against the Hegelians. Surprisingly, Strauss openly admitted that his position had not been inspired by Hegel's philosophy or theology, effectively divorcing himself from the Hegelian school. However, in his criticism of the Hegelians, Strauss coined terms that are still used today. 
He described a right Hegelian as someone who unquestioningly defended Orthodox Christian theology, while a left Hegelian took a more liberal and progressive approach to scripture. The Prussian monarch, Friedrich Wilhelm IV, who strongly objected to Strauss's book, blamed the Hegelians for the controversy. As a consequence, many Hegelians, including Bauer, were banned from teaching in universities. Despite this setback, Bauer remained bitter toward Strauss for the rest of his life. In fact, the elderly Bauer even encouraged a young Friedrich Nietzsche to write scathing articles criticizing Strauss. This clash between Bruno Bauer and David Strauss highlights the intricacies of intellectual debates and the influence of personal animosities. It also sheds light on the power dynamics and political control exerted by authorities, as seen in the banning of Hegelians from teaching. This historical episode reminds us of the importance of critical thinking, intellectual honesty, and the potential consequences of engaging in ideological battles. Bruno Bauer, a philosopher and critic of the New Testament, delved into the origins of Christianity and offered a unique perspective on its development. He challenged the prevailing notion that the gospel narratives were products of collective myth-making, arguing instead that a single writer was responsible for the first gospel. According to Bauer, the Gospel of Mark was the original narrative, completed during the reign of Hadrian. He believed that all the synoptic gospels drew inspiration from Mark's gospel. Bauer's examination of the Gospel of Mark brought about significant attention. He identified certain themes, such as the messianic secret, as literary devices rather than historical truths. This led him to suggest that the redactor who added these elements to the Gospel of Mark was the final editor of the current version. Bauer's ideas on the fictional aspects of the Gospels would later be echoed by theologian Wilhelm Reed in his book, The Messianic Secret. In addition to his exploration of the Gospels, Bauer also questioned the authenticity of the Pauline epistles. While some theologians of the Tübingen school believed certain epistles were forgeries of the 2nd century, Bauer went further, arguing that all the Pauline epistles were written in the West as antagonistic responses to the portrayal of Paul in the Acts. He highlighted the Greco-Roman influence in Christian writings, suggesting that Christianity was essentially, Stoicism triumphant in a Jewish garb. Bauer's work extended beyond the New Testament. In his book Christ and the Caesars, he analyzed the commonalities between the texts of first-century writers like Seneca the Stoic and the New Testament. Bauer contended that Judaism had influenced Rome during the time of the Caesars, and that this interaction resulted in shared keywords and themes. While some ancient scholars had proposed that Seneca was a secret Christian, Bauer argued that similarities in thought and speech patterns could be attributed to common cultural influences rather than direct borrowing. Bruno Bauer's philosophical exploration of Christian origins challenged traditional understandings of the New Testament and offered alternative perspectives on its development. His analysis of the Gospels and the Pauline epistles provided valuable insights into the literary elements and cultural influences that shaped early Christianity. Today, his work continues to encourage critical examination of religious texts and the recognition of diverse cultural influences in the formation of religious beliefs. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.